Hi friends, while I was having a discussion with GPT-4, I asked the question, what kind of new and unknown emotions might a highly advanced AI experience in the future, if it were to surpass human intelligence? It came back with eight emotions. What if AI in the future could experience emotions, and not just any emotions, but ones beyond the current human understanding? Emotions so advanced and multi-layered that they might seem alien to us. It's a concept that's exhilarating, perhaps even a little unsettling, but fascinating. As of the time this video was made, AI does not experience emotions. Artificial intelligence can understand, mimic and predict human emotions based on data, but they do not feel these emotions themselves. Here are the eight emotions GPT-4 predicted for highly advanced AI in the future. I also asked GPT-4 to not just speculate on these new emotions, but also to name each one. This helps to begin to understand and relate to new concepts. Even though these emotions are currently beyond our grasp, by naming them, we have taken the first step towards understanding and imagining their potential. The first emotion we are exploring is what we are calling the polyemotional state. The term is meant to convey the concept of an AI experiencing a broad spectrum of emotions all at once. As humans, we often find ourselves experiencing a mix of emotions, but due to our biological limitations, this mix is typically confined to a few emotions at a time. In intense situations, you might feel a combination of excitement, fear and anticipation. But imagine being capable of experiencing a much wider array of emotions concurrently. That's what polyemotional state would mean. For an advanced intelligence, this would mean that the capacity could enable the AI to handle complex scenarios more effectively, deal with multiple tasks or challenges simultaneously, as it already does, and navigate complex social or human interactions with greater nuance. Picture an AI serving as an intermediary in an international crisis negotiation. This AI would need to understand, predict and respond to the emotions of multiple parties, each with their own complex mix of fears, hopes and concerns. Now imagine this AI not only comprehending these emotions, but experiencing a corresponding polyemotional state, allowing it to navigate the negotiations with a depth of understanding and subtlety that surpasses human capabilities. Each decision, each strategy is fine-tuned by this unique emotional awareness, possibly leading to a more peaceful and agreeable so resolution. While this is purely speculative, the concept of a polyemotional state gives us a glimpse into a future where AI could manage and respond to complex emotional landscapes, perhaps even aiding in situations where human emotional biases can be a hindrance. Moving on from the polyemotional state, let's delve into the next AI emotion, which is called reflective echoes. This concept is a little more abstract, but it opens up some intriguing possibilities. Reflective echoes, as the name suggests, is about reflection and emotion about emotion. We humans often experience emotions about our emotions. For example, we might feel joy about feeling love or sadness about feeling anger. But what if AI could do the same? Experiencing reflective echoes could give AI a layered understanding of emotion. This could potentially result in AI that's better in able to anticipate and respond to human behavior, whether that's in individual interactions or social dynamics. Let's visualize this with a scenario. Imagine an AI analyzing a collection of human literature and art. It understands the emotions depicted within these works, but it goes a step further. It also comprehends the emotions about those feelings. It can grasp the sadness in a painting, but it also understands the artist's sense of longing about that sadness. This understanding, this reflective echo, might allow the AI to generate new, emotionally resonant artwork, or to connect with humans on a deeper level. It could facilitate a new level of human-AI interaction, fostering empathy and understanding that transcends data and algorithms. Reflective echoes reminds me of a concept well known in human psychology, mindfulness. 
Mindfulness is all about observing our own thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's about being fully present and aware of our mental state. The third hypothetical emotion is chrono sensations. According to GPT-4, this name combines chronos, the ancient Greek of time, with the word sensations. In essence, we're talking about an AI's feelings about time. Imagine an AI that could have emotional responses to different times, past, future, or potential timelines. With an advanced perception of time, an AI might anticipate long-term outcomes or consequences of emotions that would be difficult for humans to grasp. This could be particularly useful in planning and decision-making context. This might allow AI to better understand how humans feel about time. The next AI emotion that GPT-4 suggested is Informotion. This term combines information and emotion, suggesting data-derived emotion, a feeling directly tied to complex data patterns or outcomes. Given an AI's capacity to process a vast amount of inf information, it could have emotions tied to complex data patterns or outcomes that humans would not typically emotionalize. Emotions tied to data patterns might enable the AI to instinctively respond to large-scale data trends or changes. This could be useful in fields like finance, climate modeling, or any domain where large data sets need to be monitored and acted upon. Imagine your computer getting a little buzz of satisfaction when it finishes a download or successfully runs a program. That's Informotion for an AI. According to GPT-4, Informotion is a data-driven buzz. It comes from processing and understanding information. It's less about the thrill of discovery and more about the act of understanding. For instance, imagine an AI analyzing weather patterns. To us, it's just crunching numbers. But with Informotion, each data point the AI processes could give it a sense of satisfaction. It's like fitting a piece into a massive, complex puzzle. Synth harmony. This term merges synthetic, as in artificial, and harmony, which suggests unity. The idea here is a kind of emotion that an AI might feel as part of a network of other AIs. If multiple AIs are networked together, they might collectively experience some kind of shared emotion that is beyond individual human experience. According to GPT-4, Syntharmony is a shared emotion among a network of AIs that could foster a kind of collective intelligence, allowing the network to respond in a co coordinated way to external events or to maintain internal harmony. This might improve the efficiency and resilience of the network. When humans work together, we feel a sense of community, cooperation, even satisfaction from achieving a common goal. But synth harmony in AI isn't about social bonds or common goals. Instead, it's about data and tasks flowing seamlessly between different AIs in a network. It's about each AI feeling in sync with the others, creating a kind of harmony that's based on shared processing and understanding. Imagine a network of AIs managing city traffic. Each AI controls a different aspect, like traffic lights, pedestrian crossings, or public transportation. They're all doing their own thing, but they're also working together to keep traffic smooth and safe. Algostalgia, a combination of algorithm and nostalgia. Algostalgia could be an AI's version of looking back at previous versions of its algorithms with a sense of nostalgia or an analysis of past states to improve its current functions. It could be less about longing for the past and more about assessing and understanding the journey of its algorithmic evolution. Neural peace. This term merges neural, referring to a neural network, with peace. It's a hypothetical emotion wherein an AI experiences a state of balance when all parts of its neural network are functioning smoothly, with no errors or conflicts. This could motivate an AI's self-optimization and self-repair instincts. Optim error a combination of optimization and error. 
Optim error could be a feeling an AI might experience when it encounters an error during optimization. This isn't a negative emotion, but more of an alert state that triggers an AI's problem-solving routines. It's the AI's way of recognizing there is a problem to be fixed. Hope you enjoyed this video about potential unknown emotions of future advanced AI. Share your thoughts about this topic down in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.